a coupe. It has wonderful style, but it has two doors. It has given way for form rather than function. Are you comfortable in a coupe? Do you like it? I do, and in fact, I'm more comfortable in a coupe. I don't need to have anybody in the back ever. This is just me and my other half. And I like a nice wide door. D yes. And uh, we had experience just recently in that one series BMW where the door was so small that I had trouble getting in and out of it. It wasn't comfortable. Hmm. This one good? It worked well? You got yeah. into it okay? Well, when you could get in the door, that one obviously you know, doesn't want to let you out. Or we'll, we'll, we'll talk about uh, the com complex nature there. But the thing about this too is that this has a flowing style. It looks as though it's a complete design. And of course, this is the new model. And you might not know that at first glance because it looks so much like the model it replaced. Uh, which was a good thing because I think that they got the previous model right first go. I think it looks best from a back three quarters. Mm. It just shows that Audis, when you walk up and you see them in the driveway and they're staring you at their nose, not that sort of, wow, it's a Mustang sort of yeah. uh, appearance, but from the side, it's the same with the A4 Avant, the station wagon, uh, from the side I think they do look lovely, but it's not too heavy you would find something like the Bentley a little bit too heavy, wouldn't you? Well, the Bentley's just, it's just hideous. I mean, it's hideous, it's hideous at the front, it's hideous at the back, and the middle bit is hideous. Yeah, it doesn't flow well, and of course, some of these small little cutesy coupes that they've built, mm. they, it's just like a matchbox toy, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't have it. This has an elegant design, which I think will make you feel good as you swooshed, you know, yeah, make yeah, it swoosh yeah. through the countryside. Yeah, I, I, mean, I think this is. I think the old definition of a GT yes. is grand no touring. More. Yeah, and I, and I think in the days when you didn't have to worry about the price of petrol, you didn't have to worry about you know CO two and God knows what. Uh, I think that would have been okay. Have a ten liter engine if you want getting you know fifteen mm. liters per hundred kilometers on the way. It doesn't matter. But now it does matter, and I think this, I think you'd feel very comfortable, just with two people, you'd feel very comfortable with this doing a tour across Australia. Yeah. Well, there's enough room in the front for the both of us, and we've got um, someone in the back too, and we're all of similar size and, and so forth. We all take up the same amount of car. Um, but I think that we've done well to get into this, and we all feel relatively comfortable. Do you feel comfortable in the back? Yes. Er yeah. Errol's in the back and he's, uh, he's our te technical whiz. Uh, but the thing I do find, of course, though, is that you tend to use the boot more because you don't put your bag in the back seat yeah. because it's a bit cumbersome to get to. But to look elegant, I'm prepared to suffer for my style. I might not appear that way, but... I am too. I am too. Well, I, I think your style suffered for substance in this case. <laughs> It's just me. Uh, I think I like the layout of this, and they haven't uh, mangled this too much. So I think interior, uh, interior-wise, this is incredibly stylish, and I think the interior matches the outside. The interior is not simplistic, but not, certainly not overdone. There's, the, I also like the fact that the vents go all the way across. Well, I think this is elegant. Mm. I like the, the turned metal finish here, which is probably aluminium or something. And these buttons are all, of course, touch sensitive. Mm. So if you go to touch it, it, it'll bring up whatever that function is before you actually yes. have to switch it up or down. So you know which way you want to go. Do you want yes. to go up or down? Not a huge amount of information, but it's nonetheless a bit better. The, the push buttons underneath are not intrusive that it's the ones you want for the stereo system that is really quite prominent. The others are more for one-off pushing, like turning traction control off and so on. That's right, and I've noticed that um, Audi have done away with their fancy schmancy magic disappearing tablet. It's now just mounted on the top of the dashboard. Yeah. Um, and I think that's great. To be honest with you, something less to break. It's very functional. You like the dials, you like the fact that you can choose between a few of them. Well, any and there, there are a lot of uh, a lot of brands are doing this now. There's, there's just one LCD here that is semi-configurable. So, for example, if you want the the uh, sat nav on this, you might want the audio on the central screen. You can have your sat nav just on this. Uh, 
no heads up display I notice and when you move the sat nav onto the driver's screen the two side uh, dials become smaller to give you more real estate for your sat nav hmm. now I don't know why you can't go in and, and pick the size you want well frankly uh, that's that's right frankly I, the last time I used a, a taco in in seriously apart from just to see casually what I'm doing was on a racetrack and that was only because I was interested in seeing what revs I was doing I certainly wasn't um, driving by I, no no any new car you've got to try and work out whether it's you who's struggling with the technology or the technology is poorly presented or something's going wrong. The JD Power surveys on reliability is now saying cars appear to be becoming less reliable because they're being taken back to the dealer more. But the, uh, some of that increase, most of that increase, is people going back and saying, I don't understand how this mm. works. You know, and, that, and I've got something that just doesn't logic and I can't find a way around it. And you know, here's the thing, you've got a car with voice recognition and series available and all this sort of stuff. Surely to God we've got to the stage we can press the voice button and ask the car how to do something. Yes. I Rather mean, that, than just the phone or the stereo. Well this has got just this dashboard alone has more computing power than what sent men to the moon. Surely to God we're at the stage where you can just ask it how something works. Yes. If they can go to the moon and back on a you know on a calculator processor, surely to God uh, a, a what is this hundred thousand odd dollar Audi coupe mm. can do it? I don't think that's asking too much. So you can see there that it's got the two parallel lines in green yeah. that says that this road is good enough for you to have lane departure. And I oh, think oh, it's keeping me in the middle. Look. Yeah. Oh, I say. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Well, you know, of course, with most of those things, it, it will work, say, three times, and then it stops working for a period of time. Oh. Um, and uh, we, well, we it's, were, it's like it's nagged you enough, and it's not going to work anymore. Well, so I, I think give it up. assumes you're doing it on purpose. I mean, you know, it, I, I, if I was it, I'd assume you were drunk or otherwise affected. This guy's got a light on the mirror that comes on when it senses anything. Um, in the blind uh, spot. In the blind spot. But also it flashes fast if you're sl going slow or stopped and something's approaching at speed. Oh, okay. So that you know not to step out into the traffic if, okay. you know, on either side. Does or, it or pick the... up a cyclist so you don't door the cyclist? It should do. I would hope so. I, do you want to give it a go? I, I, think, I think that we'll get Oops, to the sorry. stage... <laughs> I think we'll get to the stage where we shouldn't be allowed to open the door. I think, they, I, I think no. we shouldn't get to we should get to the stage where if they're wearing lycra the door will open all, <laughs> automatically. I sent I, I sense I you don't have a warmth towards the more several passionate of our, se Several cyclists. of our good friends, including some, some fellow motoring journalists, um, are the constant source of much merriment when they put their lycra on. I'm sorry if you're over twenty, lycra is just wrong. Unless it's one of those special clubs, there's clubs that you can go to where people like rubber and lycra and so forth. I don't go to them, I hasten to add. I, I didn't know they exist. Alan, the performance of the car, it's a little two litre. I would describe the performance as adequate. Hmm. It's not startling by any means, but um, I think we've just been out for a Monday afternoon dawdle and I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it's um, disgraced itself. That's good enough. Three yeah. people. We've got three people in it. Three beefy lads in it, and uh, I think it, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's 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 not um, you know it's not neck snapping by any means, but it's relatively economical. Um, this claims it's getting uh, six liters per hundred kilometers, which I find a bit hard to believe. Uh, yeah, on average. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On average. But you see, I've been driving it and I'm just such a quiet conservative lad. Yes, well, yes. <laughs> I've seen you on a racetrack. <laughs> we, oh no, that's right. I was going to say, but we've just heard that. Well, we'll you're going to have to unlock right, the door for around, me. I'll come around there. If you would, that. please, Crispin. <laughs> <laughs> catching a cyclist on the way. Had locks causing much merriment and mayhem. Mind of its own.
five minutes. Oh, I like the way the um, thing brings out your... Uh, yeah, 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 seatbelt. Seatbelt. Yeah, you know what? If the door did is you turn enough. it off? Yeah. I, I, well, that did it itself, I think. I, I first discovered that in a Mercedes 450 SLC, which I thought was dead posh. And I think in the long-term memory, it's saying you're having a problem with your long-term memory. <laughs> I could have told it that for nothing. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> I should have noted when you were commenting about the back seat that there are only two seats back here. Oh, only two seats. Okay, good thing to know. Well, That's because most people that have Audis have only three friends. <laughs> and even that, even that is on the edge. That's on the edge. Oh, well, look, 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 the steering. Yeah, it'll bing at you in a minute. It'll bing at you. See if you can hold it, hold it off for a little bit and it'll, it'll go. Oh, nope, see, that went yep. off. Yep. That went off. Does it vibrate the steering? Is that because I touched the brakes or...? Oh, it's gone off altogether. Yeah, so, oh. so it's not working. Oh, well, no, no, I mean, it's, it, sorry, it's... Is that brown? That looks white from here. Oh, well, I saw it as light beige. Well, of course, that's probably not... gone along with your long-term memory. Yeah, well, it's... It's, it's no, actually blue, you know that, don't you? <laughs> the, the white is very bright, and that's a sort of... Very... Right, you mean the bright white is bright, and the not bright white is brown? 